Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, calculating compound interest in this fashion because the way we are calculating compound interest that is quite, uh, you know, troublesome because if you are uh, like kind of depositing some amount of money with, com with some compound interest for 10 years. So in that case, we need to calculate the interest for every year, like the process which we followed it till the previous slide, there we are calculating the interest for every year one by one. So that is quite difficult. So let us try to deduce a formula to very easily calculate compound interest. So let us say that you have a principal of rupees 10,000 which has been compounded annually. So what do we mean by compounded annually? That means the rate of interest is charged every year. So per annum basis. And the rate of interest is given as 10% per annum. So how can, so right now our aim is to find out a formula to calculate compound interest. So in order to obtain a formula, let us do this. Let us follow the process that we normally follow to calculate compound interest. So for the first year, your principal amount would be rupees 10,000. Rate of interest would be 10% and time period is one year because we are just considering one year. So what would be your simple interest? So simple interest would be P into R into T by 100. That is equal to 10,000 into 10 into 1 divided by 100. So this is 1000. So this would be your simple interest for the first year. Therefore, what would be your amount at the end of first year? That would be the principal amount for the first year plus the simple interest of first year. So that is how you will calculate amount for the first year. So this basically can be written as P1 plus how do you calculate simple interest? P1 RT divided by 100 or this can be written as P1 into 1 plus RT by 100. Now in this case time period is 1 because here we are considering T as 1 year. So in this case it would be P1 into 1 plus R by 100. So this is year 1. So in for year 1, we see that the amount at the end of year 1 would be P1 into 1 plus R by 100. Now let us do a similar calculation for year 2. So for year 2, what would be the principal amount? So the principal amount for year 2 will be equal to the amount of year 1. So that means P2 will actually be equal to A1. Right? And what would be the rate of interest? Rate of interest will remain R because it is the same. Time period will also remain the same because it is again one year. So what would be the amount that you will receive at the end of the second year? So the amount that you receive at the end of the second year will be equal to the amount that you receive at the end of the first year, right? Which is A1 plus the interest that you receive in second year. So how do you calculate the interest at the end of second year? Let's call that SI2, that is simple interest 2. So this would be equal to A1 plus simple interest 2 would be P2 into R into T by 100. So T is 1 year. So this can be written as 100. So therefore this can be written as a1 plus P2. What is P2? P2 is also A1. So this would be A1 R by 100. So this can be written as A1 into 1 plus R by 100. Which in turn can be written as A1 can be written as so from the previous example of year 1 we can see that we have got an expression for A1. And what is that expression? A1 can be written as P1 into 1 plus R by 100. And here we already have 1 plus R by 100. So this is equal to P1 into 1 plus R by 100 whole square. So this would be the amount at the end of second year. Now let us do a similar calculation for year 3. So year 3, the principal amount for year 3 would be the amount for year 2 which is A2 and A2 is P1 
पी वन इंटू वन प्लस आर बाई हंड्रेड का होल स्क्वायर नाउ रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अगेन वुड रिमेन द सेम टाइम पीरियड अगेन वुड रिमेन द सेम सो दे आर फोर द अमाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ द थर्ड ईयर वुड बी इक्वल टू द अमाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ द सेकेंड ईयर प्लस द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ थर्ड ईयर दैट इज थर्ड ईयर सो दिस वुड बी ए टू प्लस पी थ्री आर इंटू टी बाई हंड्रेड सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए टू प्लस ए टू आर बाई हंड्रेड सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए टू इंटू वन प्लस आर बाई हंड्रेड Now what is a two? A two is nothing but p one into one plus r by hundred whole square into one plus r by hundred. So this can be written as p one into one plus r by hundred to the power three. So now if you observe the pattern, so at the end of two years, the amount that you receive is p one into one plus r by hundred to the power two. At the end of three years, the amount that you receive is p one into one plus r by hundred to the power three. So basically, as the number of years is increasing, this the value of this power is increasing. So at the end of two years, it is to the power two. At the end of three years, it is to the power three. So at the end of four years, it would be to the power four. So therefore, looking at this pattern in general, we can say that the amount at the end of n years is equal to. P one, where P one is nothing but the initial principal, so the principal amount into one plus R by hundred to the power n. So this is the general formula to calculate compound interest. So when we say compound interest, what it means is this is not compound interest. This is basically the amount that you get at the end of the time period if your interest is being calculated compounded. so if you are you are calculating compound interest so when you calculate compound interest the amount that you get at the end of n number of years is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n so please understand this that this is the amount that you will get at the end of n years now if you want to calculate the compound interest how will you calculate compound interest so compound interest will be equal to the amount that you get at the end of n number of years minus the principal amount so like that you can calculate your compound interest Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.